Hi guys, welcome to Fono Marine TV and today we will show you a typical or let me say one of the best German fish stores which is in the eastern part of Germany nearby Leipzig. Why I will show you this today? The reason is Last month we were in New York, we showed you there some reefers in Germany, we showed them the typical American fish store and now we went, we'll do the opposite of all the things and we'll show you how it looks like in a German store, what they sold, which type of fishes and cords are typically here and uh, what love all the German reefers. So come in. Let's have a look. Today is a quite full day, which is not normal usually, because there are a little bit less visitors here. But today we have a great show. So it's uh, all once a year, they make uh, mostly a home exhibition with uh, some people talking about skimmers or palms or us, which we talk like ICP. So they have the full day, they have a lot of visitors there. It's an expectation of about 180 to 200 visitors coming today. So like you see, space is always limited, even here, but also like I see in the US. Because space is expensive, so everybody tries to put all the most aquariums and products and stuff all together in, in the stores. Like the most stores today, they have two sections. So they have the local fish store where the people can sell their stuff, get their fishes, get their cores and the necessary products. Or the other part is the online shop where they sell all the products over Germany. The normal shops have today mostly the, the difficulties in Europe that they cannot sell their fishes, their cores to all other states like it is in typically in the US. Here it's always a foreign country so that means they have a lot of more paperwork and a less limited possibility to sell all their products or fishes or coverts there and this is very strict in the limitation by the transport companies who can do that so usually we have only two and only them they do not deliver to every country so mostly it's really necessary if you want to join a local fish store in another country you have to drive there or the freight costs are really really high sometimes we talk about 150 200 bucks only for the shipping cost so that's total different to the US USA, where you can buy in order and order online all the time. What's also completely different is that on our prices is the tax included. It's about 20%, but you didn't have to pay it extra or to calculate it, and it's all over the country the same. Even if we sell to other European countries, so they have to pay the same taxes usually. It becomes also more and more complicated for the small stores to do business with that, but this works quite good inside of Europe so even small stores can survive nowadays due to their possibilities of shipping of cords goods and fishes also so but what type of fishes we have here it's the typical standard which you find also in the US we will have uh, typically clown fishes but also green promise different tanks and what is the most important things what we have here are also critters for the different cores one of the reasons why the coral keeping in the in Europe was so strong growing up was that uh, there was a time some years ago where f most fishes like angels or butterflies were banned so the people hadn't the possibilities in this time to get the small shrimps and even the small stuff so they go to the corals and and that was one of the reasons why in Europe, even especially in Germany, the coral keeping were, were exploded in all the reef aquariums and why this country is starting most earlier than other countries in the world to keep corals by self. Today, the most of the fishes are free, so that's not a bigger problem. So we have really, we have the fish keepers, the most have a mixture, a lot of very specialized um, coral keepers, which goes SPS, S, uh, LPS systems like this. The standard customers in which visited such stores, they have mixed reef tanks with one, two, three fishes and a mixed size between 200 and 1000 liters, which is about 50 gallons to 260 gallons. That's the average size. And for this average size, you will find all the different type of products. Due to the situation with all the customers which coming in, in such stores, they mostly like, like I say before, this mixed reef tank. So here we show an LPS tank which is a show tank here in this uh, in this store and like you see there's still no space so every single place would be used even such aquariums here very interesting are these new floating rocks which you can buy but at the moment we have a lot of people 
they love the Euphelia, they love the Goniopora, and the structure is nowadays not that full with rocks, so everybody tries to keep the flow through there and running with these floating rocks and keeping a lot of people there, keeping that all together. Some trying with SPS coverts also to put it inside, and this is the type of the modern European reef tanks. As I see, quite similar to that now in the US, so over the last 10 years, I see more and more that the way that the coverts, the way how reef tanks will will be treated or will be uh, made is quite nearly the same in Europe as in the US. Even the prices, we are also quite the same. Like the difference, our prices have the tax included, your prices have to go on the tax on it. So that's one of the difference here. When we look today on all these uh, reef tanks and social media, we see that the high-end SPS, the high-end LPS, but the most cores which will be sold and people like are still soft cores like this one. As it was earlier, we had the wild caught one. Today, we have all the fracked cores or breeded cores. And here you can see that even the soft cores were all breeded coming from other aquariums. <laughs> So there's no more big import of uh, soft cores today to Germany or to Europe, mostly even the stores by self producing them for their customers. What's the development of my company where that we have reusable boxes to use them for the shipping of cores. So the core farms today, like ours from Fonum Marine Core Farm, we use for shipping this type of container. And there is also using a memory foam. With this memory foam, you can use about 20, 30 times to uh, transport a core frag. The stores by self using them for the customers and then the next visits they bring back. So mostly we try no more use of any plastic bags or something like that, which will then go maybe to the sea and destroy our cores and coral reefs. So that's something which changed here very fast to get it most sustainable as possible. But we do it with fans and not with paper bag, uh, using paper bags or products which makes no sense. For that, we use also plastics, but we use them very often, and that's the way what, how we understand sustainability in our hobby. Definitely the most important what's development, what you have in the reef keeping nowadays, or even in Europe, is the ICP testing, which will be used way stronger and more often than is usually like in the US or in Northern America. The ICP was developed in Europe, and so we have the most labs all nowadays even in Europe. So even in Germany, we have three, four different type of labs. And uh, we are one of the biggest one with a turnaround about 400 tests a day. Stores like uh, this fish stores will be certified as an ICP supporter. So we train them till in the deep about the different values, about the different relations and how to use it in all the different type of aquariums. And the most important thing, how to see in a forecast what will happen in a reef tank with that levels they have. So we can say nowadays before a dinoflagellate infection or cyanobacteria will come to the reef tank. So that's why ICP here is uh, highly used and the owners here are certified as ICP lab supporters so that they can help the customers really deep and prevent problems before they happen. Good fish stores in Germany or all over the world should have a quarantine station. The quarantine of reef fishes and corals is the most important things today to have good quality animals for your customers. Nothing is more worse than it happens if fishes are ill, corals um, have problems, there's slime on it, or they suffer or die in a river crown. For the, our customers is something, it's a very bad feeling and they will always blame the aquarium owner and the local fish owner for them that they have made the mistake. So a quarantine station, it's a must have, absolutely. A current sensation by itself makes no sense if there's not knowledge about when bring the fishes into the country, when is the best time, which type of fishes are uh, stable, which can be get good in an aquarium, and if you don't have the eyes for maybe some illness or some pests on the fishes and on the cores. Here in this local fish store, 
is a very huge quarantine station which is bigger than the retail aquariums where the fishes when they're ready. The holding time is minimum about four weeks, sometimes eight weeks. What's important at the beginning of our import is to use a lot of fat, to use a lot of proteins and they use such product like the ocean plankton we have which is the original plankton which is not treated by heat. For the fishes there they have the natural food which they have in their environmental which helps them to grow faster get a better coloration and be able to avoid then later the stress for the transport or the change into a new aquarium. The most houses or companies in Germany have basements. We are under the soil here. It's always dark, it's always cooler than outside and even in, in summer the fishes here have a cool area. So we don't have a lot of problems with heat because ACs are not very common to use them all the time like we have this in some parts in the USA. Like you see here, we have some very nice uh, halicurus lococantos. Many people like it here because they eat Montipora snails and they're a little bit difficult for the imports. Even for such fishes, it is very important they have the quarantine station. And like you see, if they are well fed and we give them some of the, new, of the new plankton, the fishes are highly interested and coming immediately as long as they have a little bit fear of the cam now, I thought, but you see that the plankton swims long around and the people have time to feed it and so they get fast or good conditions then later for the same. Especially for finicky eaters, so when they are newly arrived and they need a food which is full of fat and of fatty acids, then we use this part of natural plankton, which is calanus coming from the north. So we catch it in the north of Norway in the Arctic areas. And these fatty acids are the key of success of fish keeping in reef tanks. Mostly totally under uh, rated actually are these fatty acids. The fatty acids helps you in your reef tank to reduce all the nutrients. So even in the quarantine station here with all the fishes, we did not have higher levels as 10 to 50 nitrates and around 0.05 to 0.1 phosphates in the tank. Very important to keep fishes healthy. Now also they, we can give some of the food. The antias are now new here. They arrived uh, three, four days um, before we do here the video. And so they get about till to 10 times a day, we give them the food and they go immediately on it. For a German store, this is one of the most important things to have this quarantine, to give the right feeding. And for the customers later, they can buy the same food. So then it's absolutely not a problem. It's like a liquid frozen food. You don't need to freeze it. It's easy to get and it's highly nutrients and beneficial for all the fishes here. And like you see, food is done within of a half and half a minute. All the fishes you find today in the local fish stores in Germany are small fishes. So for small reef tanks, for mixed reef tanks, for coral tanks, and it's very limited in fish tanks. Even you will not find sharks or rays or something like which is really huge. This type of reef tanks, they get their fishes directly from the wholesaler nowadays. German local fish stores, they concentrate on shrimps, they concentrate on small uh, free fishes like you can see here in all this quarantine station. Even the veraces, small tanks, but sometimes some butterflies, but also there the smaller ones, which are reef safe less and more. The reef safe of fishes, you can also have better possibilities if you look on your food and the food contains a lot of fatty acids. How more fatty acids you feed to the fishes, how more reef safe they are. Even if you have fun and you want to keep some bigger angels like the imperators which we see here or the butterflies on the side, give them a lot of fatty acids, a lot of fat and proteins in the food and they are more reef safe as you will feed them with flake food or with overcooked pellet food. Today is very uncommon to work with live frogs. Due to the situation with the scientists and the problems to bring all the live frogs into the country and the Indonesian ban over two years, um, you find mostly artificial live rock or artificial rocks, which we'll be keeping then here in such tanks together with some natural live rock to make them usable in reef tanks and that they have some bacteria on it. But here in this 
a specific local store. We can find also real Indonesian live rocks. You can see here, uh, typical decoration which we use many, many years long, but today is not that common. Um, I'm very happy that this is to find because reef tanks starting with real live rock, they run always better as you use artificial stuff. On one thing where you can really see how close nowadays the local fish stores are between Germany and the US, you can see that nowadays all covers will be sold on frag plugs. There will be keep on acrylic um, special plates where we put all the frag signs. So the frag size, the prices of the frag, the way how we show them is uh, nearly the same like in the US. We find here meanwhile way less accurate as I see in the the US due to the better possibility of cleaning of these acrylic racks and there's one key which make it more easy for the course the acrylic stuff as acrylic by itself don't take so much depot don't take so much nutrients on the surface and in the acrylic as the accurates do with their material that's also the reason why the accurates you have way more often to clean and the algae regrow way faster as on acrylic shields they do this is meanwhile absolutely usually in German stores and in Europe, um, mostly around Switzerland, Austria, that the presentation goes on this way. This was 10 years before, totally different, so we had maximum egg rates and we have all the big cohorts and this changes to totally in direct to more than blue light, more coloration, so the US style become really popular in Germany. But we also have still some roof tanks going with natural daylight, full power on it, SPS from the little bit older reefers. The amount of products is, is really high actually and one of the market leader in Germany and in the nearby countries is definitely Fauna Marine with their way for the ICP reef keeping and all the different type of products to make high-end SPS and high-end LPS for really nice coloration and for long time running reef tanks. Here you see a part of this product line. So if you see it in the US, we have a distributor there and there are many stores now meanwhile carrying this brand. You know now how they have to look like. And ask for them, you will be amazed because it's super concentrated stuff, it's no snake oil and it's used in Europe as a market leader. So try it out, you will see and have fun. So we will give you now some impressions over the store with all the different aquariums, all the people here inside, how it's look like. So once again, have fun with the video and if you want to see more about German stores or aquariums or something like that, then please comment down and we will do the best for you to show it for the next time. Many thanks for your interest. Bye bye.